The cathedral's tabernacle is fashioned from aged, varnished mahogany. Its doors are closed and there doesn't appear to be any way of opening them manually. Almost missed you. Paul has found some crossbow bolts. Let's go, man. I actually thought I was talking about this with someone before. Um, well, I cannot think of many game protagonists that are bald, and fewer still that are bald and have a beard. The only one I can think of is like, well, I guess Paul now, and I guess maybe Doctor Max from before, if you don't count his powdered wig. But outside of Eternal Darkness, I guess Max Payne, maybe. I can't think of anyone else. The personal effects of a priest are scattered across the shelves. Rosary beads, a crucifix, and a variety of other small holy items. Paul believes they must have been Brother Andrew's. So this is his room. Reliquaries. The desk bears a leather-bound book. Paul has found the Book of Reliquaries. Look in a minute. So this is Brother Andrew's room. Cool. This is the forgeries of the reliquaries, dating back to the late 13th century, exquisitely illuminated and bound with hard leather. It reads, Doubtless, many obscure orders requiring more income than be garnered from the tithe, resorting, resorted to, to forging ancient relics to bring people from outside their region to their diac... I never had how to pronounce this, diocese, diocese, and thus become more lucrative. While it could be said that a false hope is still hope, Relics such as Cuthbert's jawbone, the hand of Jude, and the infamous thighbone flute of Connaught. While being forgeries deceive the righteous unjustly, their existence as true relics is the utmost heresy. Thighbone flute of Connaught. Yeah, fair enough. They do sound like total bollocks. Oh, hello. A mace. Near the organ, a steel mace is mounted on the back wall by means of a display armature. Paul has become a cleric. Nice one, Paul. He has a very small health pool, but he has a pretty high magic one. And I noticed last time that uh, Dr. Lindsay had a pretty high sanity pool and otherwise good stats. That's one thing I keep forgetting to take into account is everyone's allotment of stats. That is a Gazelle Taff one. Oh fuck. Oh I've fucked up. I thought I could get him, but I couldn't hit him. Oh well, this isn't really a problem. Do I need anything? Not really. Go on, you know you want to change. Yeah, there we go. Alright, Zell Latath, I don't know what your zombie's doing here, but they're gone now. That was quick. I mean, hey, Paul is taking this in stride for such a holy man. Is this the same cathedral or church from the Anthony chapter? That was my question. Oh, please don't. But just done up, because obviously it doesn't look the same. A wine cask used for maturing wine. The wine inside this one must be very strong, for it seeps through the cask, feeling the air with a heady aroma. I stepped right on top of it. Fuck. Oh well. Excuse me. These trappers are quite annoying. Fuck. 
Fuck that guy in particular. Are you still getting up? Fucking hell. And it took one he fucking hit to the head to get Zelda Tats to fall down. Maybe they just have incredibly small health compared to the regulars. Hello. Is there really nothing down here? Fair enough. Uh, hmm. no, this is Brother Andrew's room. I guess if I find nothing, I'll check there, and I'll check the other way as well. What am I doing over here? Uh, and then I guess I'll just ring the bell, <laughs> ring the bell of awakening at some point. Playing the organ is a daunting challenge for someone like Paul, who has no musical talent. Paul could probably play the organ if there was some music to play. Okay, so we'll probably find a sheet of music at some point. What do we have in here? A fucking chest, man. Uh, let's just open it. Oh, a crossbow! Noink. Every cleric needs a crossbow. The rat carries robes and cloaks for ceremonial use. As Paul draws the robes back, something tumbles from inside. Paul has found the podium key. Will that fit the tabernacle? Let's find out. Unless there's something somewhere that I missed that it would fit for. Let's try it. No. So where can I use this podium key, is the question. Oh, this is the key. This is the way to the old tower. Okay. Okay, I'll stop running for Paul's sake. Yeah. Hang on a minute. No, I thought I could go back and see Brother Andrew's body. Very nice room, though. No, I came this way. I'm guessing I can't just leave. Paul cannot leave the cathedral until his name is cleared and the real murder has been uncovered. To run away now would be an admission of his guilt. Uh, I guess so. But stay here, and whilst you may not be guilty, you may be dead. So there was one Mantarok zombie in here. But otherwise, the cathedral looks clean for now. I mean, there's the basement, of course. With the trappers, but that was it. Unless I've already forgotten an uh, encounter with a zombie. It's perfectly possible. Right. I am going to save, just in case. Ah! Got my fucking leg. Uh, wow. Already nearly half an hour, or more. All right, let's just ring the bell. See if uh, King Seeker, no, uh, King Seeker Frampt will show up. Oh, this summoned him. Fair enough. Ah, oh, brother Luther, not a moment too soon, as you have noticed. Dread things inhabit this place. Shambling corpses, and worse. There is darkness at work here. Eternal in darkness. In the midst of the Inquisition. I suspect it is worse than that. But I have no proof. 
Brother Andrew knew this also, and paid the price for it. Why are you telling me this? Perhaps you can finish off what Andrew started. What about you? Take this key. It unlocks the old tower. It has been sealed off since the Inquisition arrived. I intend to uncover the truth behind this. If you manage to uncover the source of darkness, return here, and I will do everything I can to help. Till then, brother, may your faith protect you. Why do I have to go alone? Why can't I just have a friend for once? I mean, fuck, you can have the crossbow or the mace, I'll take the other one. I even have magic. Ah well. He is an old man. Then again, I'm sure Paul isn't quite a spring chicken himself. Not to be rude, Paul. But I'm sure you don't have that hair purely for aesthetic reasons. Probably the most well done room in the whole game, honestly. At least in my opinion. I, I don't know what it is, but there's something really just... vibey about it. Oh yeah. Fucking hell, Thomas, you mind? He just crawled out from behind the monitor and is standing right next to the mouse. Freak the shit out of me. Hello. Oh, fuck! Hold still, brother! Uh-oh. Sorry, brother. Ow. Damn it! Come on, Paul! I can see its face coming out from the... Well, your face! Poor fella. Don't know what that was all about. Oh wait, this is the um, this is the same room, the old tower. Yeah. Oh hello. A scroll of aged paper sits on the dusty altar top. It seems to have been discarded. Shield spell scroll. Chaturga Bankarok Santa. Okay, so what's the difference between what kind of what kind of spell are we talking? I'll do it when an when I see uh, some of those zombies again. But how did that monk get into the old tower if it's been locked off? Was he just kept it? Was he just kept here to look after the place, or did he break in himself? What's going on here? God, it's Anthony! No. Uh, sorry, Anthony. Uh, I hate to disappoint you, but I am not Charlemagne. Does he count as Ulyayoth magic? I'll treat to Turga. I think it worked. I think I got it off in time. I did. Fuck. I'm trying to do it the untargeted way. So then he freaks, he does a shit ton of moves. Like that. Although it doesn't target A specifically, him, so. Ow. How about a crossbow, eh? How about a crossbow bolt? Oh god. I have a plan. I need to get some distance. Okay, okay. Um spell. It was a curse by Ulayoth, so maybe this will do something. 
Fuck, I don't know if I, I think I got it off, and I don't think it did anything. Okay. I don't have the room to do this anyways. Okay, how about this? Um... Nope. This. Got it off. Nice. Oh, come on. Oh, God. I don't know if this is a fight I can win. But I do have to heal at some point, so... Excuse me, Anthony. Thomas is now sitting in the corner of the room. I really don't have a lot of health, do I? Oh, I got him! Last rides. Bless you, Anthony. I hope he's been freed. But that's an emerald and a ruby down there. there is to discover. Poor Anthony though, I did not expect to see him here. Well I guess maybe I could have seen it happening. I guess I just... Hello Paul. I guess I just left his corpse there. Uh oh. That was quite badly timed. Get off! Come here. That's what I thought, fun. Fair enough. Oh, hello there. A sheet of music. Nice. And a... Page. Lying on an abandoned easel is a sheet of tattered papier covered with scrawls of ink. Diary page. Well, I'll loot the room and then I'll check it. Okay, yeah, it's as empty as it ever was. Diary page two. The, brother, the diary of, the, of Brother Andrew, page two. I suppose it. Uh, I suppose it is understandable that they will not show me the hand of Jude on such little notice. But I must confess that the preparations they make are most unusual. No acts of consecration, no daily prayer or worship are demonstrated by this strange order. One wonders if they are holy at all, let alone being under the, as the auspices of the Grand Inquisition. Perhaps it is my naivety of our faith. There are many practices associated with it, and they differ greatly from region to region. Perhaps Amiens is merely more eccentric than the others. Perhaps. But I doubt it, brother. I doubt it very much. At least I don't have my sword sword for my diamond sword sword. Alright, let's try it. No, hang on. Oh, okay. This one I don't need to use an item on. By means of bellows and pump, the pipe, uh, the pipe organ is able to play deeply moving music. It has the power to inspire faith and to influence hearts beyond the control of the mind. Should Paul play the organ? Oh, come on. Oh, I have to... Okay. Now that was suitably epic. And now we have the power to make a five point spell. This is how we do it, folks. The tabernacle is almost empty. There are none of the things that should be there, such as a holy ward or other ritualistic items. Only a circle of power laying on the lower shelf.
Paul has acquired the circle of power. Well, more like a pentagon. Paul has acquired a five-point circle of power. Now each of the three-point spells can be powered up by using the power rune. What doth that mean? Okay, do I go back to the custodian? I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure I looted everything in there. Hmm. I never found the rune for that trapper one, did I? What do you think, Thomas? He's scratching his ear with his back left leg. Hopefully the custodian has something to say. Otherwise I'm not sure where else to look. I guess maybe I could check out Brother Andrew's place again. I will jump cut if the custodian has nothing to say, because then, you know, I don't want to waste any more time of the viewers. Hello, custodian. The custodian shakes his head and informs Paul that he doesn't have enough evidence to make an accusation against Augusty. There must be something else to find. Okay. Alright, well... <laughs> thanks for looking straight up at the camera, Paul. Jump cut. I cannot believe that the game made me do this. I've been searching for so long. Uh, and I could not find anything, so I just went down to the wine cellar and started knocking all of the casks. And one of them, one of the more off-screen casks, I should say, is apparently triggering this special cutscene. Knocking on this cask results in a hollow thud. It is empty, but why when all the others are full of maturing wine? Should Paul turn the barrel spigot? Paul is not doing too great. But, you know, we grind. Oh! Well, Paul, I have good news and bad news. Good news is, we have a crossbow. Bad news is, you're about as weak as a nun's piss. But, we'll manage. If you excuse me. Now, he wants a Ulyayoth enchantment, actually. Cheers, babes. Alright. Reload, 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 reload. God, I bless you. Reload, 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 reload. Oh my god, he didn't reload. Oh my god, I need to get him out of here right now because he is way too weak for this. Oh god, I don't remember, I can't remember the last time I saved. I don't think it was that long ago, but I can't remember where it was, so I'm too paranoid. Thankfully, I can do this. Fuck, I really was that stupid that I forgot not to do that. Come on, before the enchantment wears off. How many hits does he want to take? I mean, I, I hope the game doesn't want me to engage in melee with Paul. Oh, fuck. Man. It's my fault, I know. You missed! How? Well, I know you're not a fighter, but still. God, God, help me. You're joking. Okay, excuse, excuse me. Excuse me! This is not going well. Oh my god, fuck you. Oh my god, fuck you! Oh my god, I'm dead. I'm dead, you're joking. Paul, you really make me upset. How far back am I? Please tell me I'm not that far back. Oh god. Paul has perished at the hands of the eternal darkness. With no one to stop their diabolical plans, humanity will surely be annihilated. 
Very cool, very cool, very cool. Yes, yes, the main menu screen. Very annoying because I have to go all the way through back to the menu. Please tell me I saved for the... after the start. Okay, I did, but where? Don't worry, I will jump cut. I just want to see where I was. Come on, please tell me it wasn't far. Please, God, help me. Oh my god, right before. Okay, you know what? I think I might call it a night. Well, I will, I guess, play some more tomorrow, get back to the point where I was, and, uh, well, I'll see you then. But uh, whether this is the middle of an episode or the end, I hope to see you in the next one. Ta-ta for now.